Working the beat is a tough job, but it just got a little more desirable for police candidates who wish to work in Maine's largest city. A $10,000 sign-on bonus, $2,500 when first sworn in, another $2,500 after training, and $5,000 after a probation period. I think it's a good deal. Portland's police chief is hoping it's a good enough deal to attract at least 16 new officers. That's how many positions are open. But getting hired is still a rigorous process. There's a written test, a physical agility test, a background check, and a polygraph. We still hire less than 4% of our candidates. So it's always going to be you know, quality over quantity. That's always going to be the focus. Because the need is so great, the city is changing up some of the job requirements. The chief says if a candidate admits to using marijuana, they still may be considered for the job, something that used to be an automatic disqualifier. That's going to be based more on what I refer to as recency and frequency. Uh, so, you know, if, uh, if you smoked uh, uh, marijuana four years ago and it was two times uh, and you've done all these great things since then, we're looking at that entire package. That's not an automatic disqualifier. Public opinion about the marijuana change seems to be mixed and generational. If we feel like in the past that was a reason to not hire officers, we should hold with it regardless of the need. Marijuana, I feel like, in my opinion, is a lot safer than alcohol. And if people are drinking outside of work, that also doesn't really matter to society. So I feel like marijuana should kind of be under the same like guidelines, I guess. And the chief says he already has two good candidates in the pipeline, one from Vermont, another from New York City, wanting to come to Portland. Uh, by the way, the Westbrook Police Department did this same sort of incentive program about a year ago. They were down eight officers. They've hired four. We're live in Portland, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.